When you first go to the resume builder, what you're gonna be prompted with is to upload your re existing resume or to use your LinkedIn profile uh, to load all the data, right? Because you probably have an existing resume and getting that initial content in there could be kind of annoying. So we've got a couple ways for you to do that. The first is to load your LinkedIn profile, which is what we recommend because resumes can really be written in lots of different ways and can sometimes be very tricky to parse. And your LinkedIn is gonna be very structured and always come in in a very consistent way. So let's do that here. We're gonna click into that field. I've obviously done this before but you just want your LinkedIn profile. So in slash whatever your URL is, you can write the whole thing if you want, but that's all we really need to do it, all right? Uh, the alternative would be to click here and upload a PDF or a, a doc, a Word doc of your resume. And we'll walk through that in another video how to do that. But in this case, we're gonna import our LinkedIn data. And what we're gonna see here now is the resume builder. You can get guided through a quick tour of how to use it. Um, I'm gonna do that for you, so we'll go ahead and skip it here. But now you can see that you've got all your information loaded into the resume builder. And there's a few things that we wanna call out that, that are kind of different than how you would typically build resumes, right? Cause you're usually doing this like in a document editor or something. And this is really a system built to manage information that can produce resumes. So over here on the left, you've got what we call the career history. And think about this as a database for your career, everything you've ever done. And on the right are presentations of that information. And you can select what information you wanna include or exclude without having to make 10 different versions of your resume and having a whole bunch of different documents. It's all in one place. So think of the left as a database for your career and the right as like views of your career. All right, so we've got our contact information. We've got target titles, that's what we're going after. We can have our professional summaries. LinkedIn already brought in the first one. And then we've got our work experience, the companies we worked at and the positions we had at them, and then the th achievements we had at those companies. Um, when we pull in from LinkedIn, since LinkedIn for each position just takes a what's called a blob of text, we break it down by sentences. Most resume builders treat this as a single text box, but since we're giving you control per achievement, we need those to be individual items. All right, so that's what you're seeing here on the left, your various jobs, your individual achievements. Then you've got your education section, your certifications, and your skills. And fundamentally, the way this works is we've got information on the left and visual or presentation on the right. So if I wanna turn on my professional summary, now it's on. If I wanna add a target title, like marketing manager, I'll hit save, and now I can turn that on. And if I wanna have different versions, I'll go ahead and duplicate that target title. And let's call this one marketing director. All right, because maybe I'm going after multiple titles. You know, some companies for six years of experience, they may call it a manager and some companies may call it a director. And I don't wanna have 10 different Word docs. I just wanna be able to, on a resume, be able to change that. And this is the main concept of our resume builder. You add more information and you can just change on a per resume basis which one you want to show. So same applies to professional summaries and achievements. So here you've got your information on the left, kind of rendering or uh, on the right. Let's go ahead and add our contact information. So we'll add our email address. I have it saved from before, so it's quick and easy. And I'll go ahead and save that. So now all that information is there. I can turn it on and off as I need it. All right, so that's the main information. In other videos, I'll show you how to dive into each of these sections. Then you've got your modes up here in the top right. I'm not gonna do a deep dive into each one because we'll do separate videos for those, but you've got guidance as you do individual things on the left. You're gonna get guidance at each step of the way. You've got an analysis of your resume. We've got what's called basic analysis and advanced analysis. Basic analysis is free and advanced is part of Teal Plus. We'll do a separate video on that. But you know, in this case, this job has, um, you know, my overall number of achievements on this resume is too high. So you can start to now turn some of those off. All right, and if we go back to our preview, we can see that those are being turned off and that's how we start to make our resume shorter and we can control, but we don't lose that information. 
Then you've got matching mode. This is where you attach it to a job description from your job tracker, or you can make one. I'm not gonna go into that here. And then most importantly, you got formatting mode, right? How do you change the visuals of your resume? And you have four different sort of structures that you can pick from. And then you have settings that are gonna pretty much allow you to make millions of different versions. You can change the font, you can add an accent color if you'd like, you can change the position, you can sort of group the information, you can change the dates, but I'll do a whole separate video on formatting mode. But if you wanna change the look and feel of your resume, this is where you do that. And then lastly, you've got the ability to make cover letters with AI, which I'll do a whole separate video on. But that is at a high level how the resume builder works. Remember, information on the left, presentation, on the right, all right? Uh, I'm gonna now make, uh, we'll have a whole series of other videos that show all the various deep dives, but that gives you a high level understanding of how the Resume Builder works.